Hey guys, how's it going? It's Fixer Med, and in today's video, I'll be discussing the new Anki FSRS algorithm and the steps I take to tailor this algorithm to my studying needs. I would recommend everyone to tailor the settings to their own study needs because at the end of the day, we all learn information in a different manner. So with this algorithm, this was recently released in 2022 compared to the old Anki algorithm, which was released in 1987. And now the FSRS algorithm is completely built into Anki natively, and we do not need to fiddle around with any add-ons to mess around with the algorithm. So I will show you guys the Anki version I'm on. I am on Anki 23.12.1 parentheses 1a 1d 4d 54 and then qt 6.5.3 3.9.15 um any anki version that's at this version or later should have this algorithm built in at the time of this video anyways so let's go ahead and get started let's crack open the options so hit the gear icon and options on the deck you want to modify scroll down to the end as you can see, I have FSRS enabled. The maximum interval I'm utilizing is 36,500. The desired retention I have right now is 96%, but I can change the max to 97% at the moment. The SM2 retention is the old algorithm's retention rate. I had it set to 90%, but since I'm not using the algorithm right now, it won't really affect anything. And the FSRS parameters right now are set to the default, 0 0.56, 1 1.2, etc. And if you have more than a thousand reviews done, you can actually go ahead and hit optimize and you can see the numbers change here when I hit optimize because the algorithm will know my learning pattern better and will give me better FSRS parameters to use. So these are my parameters it's recommended for me to use. So I'm going to probably utilize that and then I can compute the optimal retention for my study goals so if I want to do a deck size of 10,000 for a year basically every day for 30 minutes a day I need to have a retention set to 86 but if I want to do a deck that's like the on king deck for 365 days on a normal med student schedule 120 I would need to reiterate it. It'd be once again, 86%. So now that I have that, I can put that down there. Honestly, I'd rather do 30 minutes a day. So let's see how that changes. I've already been through the trenches once. Don't want to go through it again. Eighty six percent once again. So looks like eighty six is my desired retention rate. And I will reschedule these cards on change and then save the settings. So now that I have that set up, I can see the cards I have due. I have one card from the change today, but sometimes you can get a lot of cards because I'm using a blank user profile right now. So this will show the cards I have due as being a lot lower than what it normally is. Five A's of Down syndrome, advanced maternal age, atresia, atrioventricle, septal defect, Alzheimer's, uh, AML, and ALL, got it. And that was pretty easy, so I'm gonna say good. Now, the thing with the FSRS is if you actually don't know nothing about the card and you had no idea what the answer was, don't hit hard, hit again. That's one important thing to remember about the FSRS. For the algorithm to truly detect your learning style, hit again, don't hit hard. I would honestly just stick to again and good, again and good as your only answer choices. So 
I hope that video was a help for you guys. I'm gonna be tinkering around with FSRS way more over the coming months to get like an optimal style of learning for myself. And I hope that will also be an optimal style of learning for you guys as well. And with that, that's all I have for this video today. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. If not, this is Fixer Med signing off. Be sure to have a great day, everyone. Happy studying and goodbye.